my name is Irene and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. I talk about my opinions on books and hopefully I can give a few good recommendations. Before I get started, I would just like to ask you to please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be doing the end of year book tag. Um, so I'm really excited to do this one. It has a lot of really good questions. Um, I am not positive who started off this tag. Um, but it is something that a lot of booktubers do every single year. And it's something that you're supposed to do, I think, a couple of months before, before January. So let's just get started, um, with the first question. And the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And yes, there is. So I want to finish Oathbringer, which is the third um, Stormlight book, and Sense and Sensibility. So this year I have been really trying to read a lot of classics and to finish the entire Stormlight archive. So that I definitely want to finish before the end of the year. Um, then the next question is, do you have any autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So, I read most of the autumnal books in October. Um, it didn't go well if you watched my last video, but I read a bunch of books um, that were horror, suspense, that had the vibes of um, autumn. Um, so, I was having a hard time deciding which one to pick for this one, but I am trying to read Bird Box, and that is more of a suspense, dystopian type of book that I really think is perfect for this time of year. So that is the book I'm going to transition into December, and then December um, I will probably read some winter reads. Question number three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? And yes, I usually don't wait for new releases. I usually just read books that are already um, have been out for years and I don't I don't really read the new books but this one I had an answer for because Rhythm of War is coming out on the 15th and I'm so excited. I'm a little bit um, burnt out on Stormlight Archive right now because I read the past three books and the past three months and it is a lot of pages it's like over 3,000 pages of Stormlight Archive but I still really want to read Rhythm of War before the end of the year um, I think that's gonna be so good and I'm excited for that question number four what are three books you want to read before the end of the year so I did the end of the I did an end of the books I want to read by the end of the year um, video, um, which I listed all of those, and I read almost all of them so far, but there is three that I still want to read. Um, first one is Pride and Prejudice. Um, this I'm going to read right after Sense and Sensibility. Um, I think that this is probably going to be really good. I'm excited for it. I already am liking Sense and Sensibility, and hopefully sh um, she will become one of my favorite authors. So we will see. And then I also want to read The Christmas Carol around Christmas time. So that's definitely going to be December, like end of December. Like probably I'll be reading it on Christmas. So, um, and then I want to read Jurassic Park. Um, I did not know it was a book until recently. I thought it was just a movie and I love the movie. And I just found out it was a book so I'm gonna have to read that really soon like after Bird Box or something because I really think that's gonna be good and that brings us to the fifth question um, is there a book you think that could shock you and become your favorite book this year so this year I kind of had a not the best reading year because I read a lot of books that weren't particularly my taste um, and I thought I would like them and I didn't and I pushed through them and um, yeah but I still read a lot of really good books so I already have my 10 favorite books I've read this year that I think are um, not gonna be switched off the list but I feel like if something were to make it on this list and I think it would be Jurassic Park, but I have no clue. That would be kind of shocking though, because I feel like my list is already set, like I already know, so to switch something off of my top 10, I don't know, but it could happen, so maybe Jurassic Park. 
Um, and then the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Yes, I have. Um, I can't stop making plans for reading. I'm a very goal-oriented person, so I always have new plans for reading and yes i'm also going to work on um reading it's going to be next year more about quality than quantity i am really going to try to just read quality books that i really enjoy so if i'm not enjoying a book i'll just quit it and i'll start a new one if i'm not enjoying a series um, as much as i thought i would just quit it um that's going to be what i do um so yeah, that's the plan. Um, there is a lot of series, fantasy series, that I want to start reading in January because by then I'll be done with Stormlight Archive and I will be done with a lot of series that I try to finish by the end of the year. So I will be able to start a bunch of new ones, which I'm really excited for because I think those are going to be good. Um, and then we'll see after that. I'm also probably going to read more thriller and suspense books because I'm realizing... I really love that genre if it's done right. Um, the past th few thrills or suspense weren't that good, but I feel like I really, that's something that keeps me hooked on a book, and I never, I, I feel very invested in it when I do read one of those books, so that I'm definitely going to read more of, and uh, maybe some more romance and fantasy. I probably will dial down a bit on it. I do want to start a new series, but I also don't want to read as much, so I'm not overwhelmed. Um, also, dystopian books. Also, one of my favorite genres. I know a lot of people are tired of dystopians, but I love them, so definitely more dystopians, definitely more thrillers, and like more psychological thrillers and um some new fantasy series that are those are my plans and i'm excited for that in finishing off this year but anyway thank you guys so much for watching um i make a video every single thursday i always leave my goodreads and my instagram down below and um i will see you next time bye